Welcome back, everybody, to example four. We're still looking at page nine here, and we're, we're sort of adding to our list of examples of vector spaces, and example four is about polynomials. So we'll introduce some new notation here. P of R will be our notation for the set of all polynomials with coefficients in R. Turns out that this is a vector space, and we need to um, explain what we mean by addition and scalar multiplication in this set that we're talking about. Okay, so this will be a nice opportunity just to review what a polynomial is. Okay, so typical polynomial would just have this sort of a form. Okay, this would be a so-called nth degree polynomial provided that that coefficient here that we have a n is non-zero. Okay, and so what we're assuming here is that a zero, a, a one, a two up to a n, those are real numbers, okay, coefficients, coefficients in r. Okay, and then notice that the powers of x are uh, non-negative integer powers. That's the other important part of the definition of a polynomial. Okay, so p of x is one vector in this vector space, and then we could maybe take another one, q of x. And now that we've got kind of two polynomials in front of us, we can talk about what it means to add those, add those together and to multiply by a scalar. Okay, so we will define the sum of those two polynomials, p and q, to just be kind of the um, component-wise sum of each of the terms. So for example, um, we would take a0 and b0 and add those together. That would be our constant term. Okay, and then we'd take a1 and b1, add those together and get a1 plus b1x and just kind of component-wise keep adding these together a2 plus D, b2x squared, and so on, until we get to a n plus b n x to the n. Okay, there's our definition of the sum of those two polynomials. And then what about c p? Okay, taking that polynomial and multiplying it by a scalar c. Okay, well there, it's natural just to say we're going to define that by taking c and multiplying it through all of the coefficients on p of x. So we get c a 0 plus ca1x plus ca2x squared, and so on, okay, until we get to canx to the n. Okay, and again, to formally verify that this is a vector space, we, we could go and just check and verify that with these definitions of addition and scalar multiplication that we just made here, all eight of our vector space properties are satisfied.